Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to quickly use um, the who insert your pictures into the butterfly charm. And I'm doing this in Cricut. I don't use Silhouette, so if you can follow along and get the, if you already know, cool. If you don't, you can um, Google how to insert pictures into shapes or how to um, cut pictures from shapes in Silhouette. Okay, so we're going to browse and get our file. We're going to open it as a complex file. Continue. Print, then cut. Upload. Upload again. Grab the second part. We can do complex. Continue. Apply. I'm going to select both of them and add them to the canvas. We don't want to worry about sizing right now. We just want to worry about getting the pictures that we need. I already have my pictures in there. That's why I didn't upload them just now. So I'm just sliding that in place and then I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm going to grab these two pictures here and add them to the canvas. And let's cut this back one a minute. Let's bring these to the back. This alternate. Okay, so I'm going to put this where I want it over here. And this one. This one. And I'm going to slide it over here. So, I'm going to resize it to fit into that opening however I like. Same thing with this one. Resize it to fit the opening. We gotta leave that there. Then we'll cut this off. And then we'll cut this piece back on. And then we'll select one side first. These two and then slice. And then we'll come back and select these two and then slice. Okay, let's, let's get this part. Let's delete that part. I'm going to cut that part. So we're going to select this, these two. Select the whole picture and slice. So now we can cut this off almost a little bit because I didn't push the picture all the way up. So we want to make sure, let's step back a minute. We want to make sure that the picture is covering this picture. It, up here in this area, it needs to cover the shape. So I moved it, so let's see if I like that where it's placed. That's fine. So now I'm going to move forward with slicing. So again, cut this back on. And select these two, slice, and select these two, and slice. And we can get rid of this. We don't need it. Get rid of this. We don't need it. Cut this off. Cut this off. And cut our butterfly. Then we can select and we can flatten. And from there, then you can size it. A good size is 2.5. Um, that's a good size. It's about the size of one of those round earrings. Like the wood rounds or the printed round earrings. So 2.5 is pretty good. If you want it smaller than that, you can go to maybe 2. That's a good size as well. You can do as small as you need to make it. Or as large as you need to make it. But I think 2, 2.5, 2, 2.5 is a good size. And then from there, you know, if you're going to build it out, then you just make a duplicate. 
and then for your duplicate piece you will need to I think the flatten actually it was uh, so I duplicated that so unflatten that piece and then for this piece I can combine here's the weld so I have to first turn it into a Ooh, that. Let's group those together. Group that. And then we'll take this and turn it into a basic. And then these as well into a basic. And then we can, should be able to build. Yes. So now we welded it together. And then you use that. And you can, if you use 110 pound cardstock, then you can do four to six layers. And then if you're going to use um, glitter or whatever you want to use on the back, just make a duplicate of that. And uh, let's just change it a different color so you can see. I'm going to change it to red. Make a duplicate and then you want to horizontal flip that one. So when you do all your layering... I'm not going to layer it perfect. I'm just going to do an example. So when you do your all your layering, and this goes to the front, and then this will be at the back. So it will fit back behind that perfectly. So you can cut this out of glitter. This is your print then cut, and this will be cut out of your cardstock. Hope this helps.